Hi everybody, this is Scarlet here, and I'm here with week number two of uh, BBDL season four. Not very confident in that, but I digress. Um, we're taking on Gibble is Life, and um, I'm actually filming this before week one, so like, yeah. <laughs> um, because the whole roommate thing, so that's why some battles you're gonna hear audio, some you're you're not, or or some you're gonna hear it like this. Others will be the actual battle. It really depends on the battle, I believe. Um, actually, I think both are like this. I could be wrong, but um, I figured I, I I might as well. Well, I mean, I might as well. I mean, I have to kind of do this, but um. I figured I would just kind of go over the battle, kind of what happened, my mindset and everything, so. Uh, before we begin, if you like the video, you can like it, uh, subscribe, do all that great stuff, sorry. I'm like trying desperately to throw my, uh, what should we call it, my fucking webcam thing, because that's my mic, I don't, I didn't bring my actual mic, but, um, yeah, so heading into this match, what I was definitely scared of was Dawn Fan, um, because I know rocks can be an issue for my team. But uh, the biggest thing about Dawn Fan is that is his only clear, right? If that thing goes down, or as long as that thing's alive, someone can clean up hazards. And for me, hazards are so good. Um, Weavile for 25, Volcanion for 25, Dragonite for 25. Um, which are his main threats. Those are three of his big threats. I can't actually like bring up the rest of his rest of his team, but I was like surprised Magna Zone didn't come this matchup um, for for Goldengo and trapping it. Um, I was also kind of scared of Analytic Magna Zone. Magna Zone in general was kind of like giving me some weird vibes, so I'm really glad that didn't come. If you're wondering about my sets, I guess I can just kind of show them. Um, I had Slithering, uh, with Aquaberry for Volcanion, so that it could, like, get off a, a CC, an EQ, something like that. Uh, Slithering was just kind of, like, doing some damage, uh, maybe revenge kill if it needs to. That's kind of how I wanted to play this game. I wanted it to be get a kill revenge, just because something like Weavile is such a big threat, where it's, like, I, I really can't do a lot against it, so if I can get up against uh, Gibble, then I'm in really good shape. That was kind of my, my mentality. Azelf. Azelf was another kind of damage mod. Um, the biggest thing that I was actually really excited about using it, also I did do, like, I think these are good threats, but Drain Punch, Weavile, um, even even if it's, uh, what you call it, Timid, this is an Oko, so wasn't too scared. Mystical Power, I believe, is a new move where it's a 100% chance to raise special attack by one 90% accurate, though. And I was really excited to use that because I could just kind of like, you know, Shimon and get the boost. I believe that plus two is when I start like just Okoing things. Uh, Die Shock, especially for Florgis, just kind of doing some damage. Thunderbolt uh, actually does more than Die Shock on. Canyon, so that's my best move for hitting it. So that's why that's that. Um, and then one, I, I forget some of these. I know speed is for uh, Grafafi or Grafafe. I like Grafafe for Grafafe. Idiot but death was to live or to not get two hit KO'd by Canyon, I believe. 80 special attack does uh. Plus two Psy Psy Shock Oko's Florgis at plus at plus two, um, and then 124 Defense I believe is uh uh I think it was for Weavile. If I was if no rocks came up, I believe I had like a small percent or like a 50 50 percent chance of, of living a Weavile hit. I think, I forget, I did these today, and I still, I didn't write them down, so. Uh, Goldengo, Cloak uh, for Garg, 
really just kind of a good switch in for it. 128 defense is the easiest one I can talk about first, and that's just I can live in Earthquake. 50%, um, and it always 2 it KOs. Like, that's, that's what that defense is for. Allows me to recover on it, make it rain does a shit ton. Um, and I believe this is the amount I needed to Oko, or like to put it in 50-50 with, gar with a guard. And then uh, with rocks it Oko's, I believe. Or with rocks it's a 50 Something like that. It's a 50-50 some way, so... That's why that's the investment. 64 with Def was... It might have just been leftovers, either that or... Something for floor just maybe, where it was like... A 6 heck KO, or... Or maybe, I think it might have been a Vulcanian, like a, a, a steam eruption or a flamethrower roll. I forget. And then 148 speed outspeeds, I believe, everything. All of his, like, tanks and shit besides Vulcanian. So, I didn't really, I wasn't really expecting this thing to come in on Vulcanian. And I think you're gonna see, uh, there was that one point where it was on Vulcanian, and I was like, fuck that shit, I'm out. So, that's that. Gastro, uh, it has 68... A, a special attack, I believe, to hit Enamorous, and uh, something else, maybe. Uh, I think Volcanion, it does like a, a 2 kk or something. Um, and then Max Fidef, just for regular reasons. I need Rocks up. I was thinking about Double Spikes, um, or not Double Spikes, but like Stealth Rock Spikes. Um, and I was also thinking about Stealth Rock Yawn, because Yawn gives me some momentum. I ended up going with Protect just in case, um, and you're actually going to see why, well no, you're not going to see why, but Volcanion does get access to Solar Beam, so I was just going to use it as a scout just in case. Didn't even end up using it, but whatever. Moltres, just max defense, wall, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Dragonite, and Weavile. That was all it needed to do, nothing less, nothing more. Just kind of do that. Chiyu just does damage. Like the, <laughs> um, he's his speed tiers are not good, at least for Chiyu wise. Chiyu just kind of like smokes a lot of mons on a team. So I was gonna use Chiyu as kind of like a, a win con or like revenge killer, get it in on tanks. But um, you're gonna see he's AD on uh Volcanion. So I ended up just not really using Chiyu, but. Ever. So turn one is gonna start off Volcanion Gastro. Um, he's gonna make a hard switch to Decidueye. I don't really care about this. I can just switch out to Moltres, which also can do, you know, pretty good job at walling this. Uh, I don't know what that move is, Triple Arrows, but it might be like a 50/50 defense drop or something. Guard comes in um, on my. I doubled two Gold Dango on a Guard switch, and you're gonna see Make It Rain does absolutely nothing. <laughs> Um, I actually thought that was make it rain damage at first, but no, that's that's rocks. Um, because I like skipping. He's gonna get the poison here. Doesn't really matter because Gastro's not. It did its job already. He doesn't have a spin, so yeah. I predict ice beam. I was just kind of making some reads here. I was not playing what was in front of me, which is not usually a thing you want to do. But I was just feeling it today. Um, I was thinking maybe he stayed in and and did something, but no. So, Goldango comes back out on the rocks, which uh, might seem like that matter. Okay, Volcanion comes back. I believe I side shocked here um, on the Volcanion re. Um, rocks don't really matter. Like I said, there was an Azelf roll, but you're going to see that doesn't really matter because now rocks are up. So, uh, first impression is a KO, and it can just revenge from there. I just need to get a kill or two, and then I can kind of just play with win cons and, and do all that stuff, but yeah. So Garg sets up rocks. The only one it really impacts is Chiyu. That's really it. Chiyu ha is, you're going to see, doesn't really do a lot besides like maybe the opponent's more, a little more worried about stuff, but yeah, I do side shock. It's going to do double the damage. And now that's a sack. So if Volcanion doesn't matter, Chiyu can just kind of start doing stuff. I side shock again on floor. Not, not really on floor, just, but comes in, and I can just oko it. I, I don't really... <laughs> that's that's awesome for me, because you're going to see I'm Terra Dark with Chiyu, so that's one Dark Weak Mon. I chose Dark instead of Fire, just because 
I felt like getting a KO on Knackle or getting a uh, Volcanion is way more important than Decidueye, Weavile, and, and Knight, which you're gonna see that Knight is Terranova, which I thought it was gonna be, so. Yeah, it's it's better to have Dark because I can hit some walls better and be a wall breaker instead of just kind of spamming a fire move when the walls can just switch in for free, so. I'm gonna double here Moltres because Moltres just 1v1s this. All I need to do is hit one wisp and this thing is essentially not even set up on me. And from here, Air Slash is, does way more than whatever E Speed, Ice Spinner, anything that this thing wants to throw at. I do miss a 95% accurate move, which is always nice, but I don't think any of my misses matter too much. I think my opponent's misses probably mattered more. I don't know if they even missed or he even missed, but. E-Speed comes out, it's doing 37, predicted, get the roost off. Um, from here, I mean, he could do a couple of things, but he's going to go back to the Knackle. Um, I just Flamethrower because he has just lost his uh, Dragon-type, so Flamethrower is consistent and I didn't want to miss another Air Slash. Uh, he, he makes a good read with Earthquake, um, which gets a crit, which is good for him. He's just going to sack uh, Volcanion. I'm just going to recover here. I don't... Um, I don't think he knew my defense spread, so Earthquake never gets the two-hit KO, so, or after a recover, it never two-hit KOs unless he gets another lucky crit. I don't think that happens, so I just recover the damage, that's why I'm at 72. So here he can just set up, which is what he's going to do. I, I go out back to Moltres because Moltres is insane. It actually KOs, I don't know the calc on that, but that is... That's got it. I didn't calc that much of this match. This was probably Adamant Weavile. Maybe I'm just making an assumption right now though. So the wind comes out and like I said, from here, because we have a 5-4 lead, I can just start clicking first impression without any worries. And I actually do want to count how many kills the coin got. Um, because so far it has zero. Um but you're gonna see it picks up with one here. And from here he could just go knack. Or no, he went uh Decidueye, which I can't. Oko, so I'm sacking Gastro here, don't really need it, doesn't do a lot, etc. I already have, like I said, Chi Yu, which kind of just blows shit up. Um, I believe I just go hard Chi Yu, yeah. And then I think I just Terra Dark Pulse, because there's no way you can stay on Chi Yu. So I just Terra Dark Pulse here. I made a ton of fucking reads. I, when I tell you guys I made a ton of reads, I made a ton of fucking reads. So Chi Yu is going to pick up a KO, going to die to Brick Break, which kind of sucks, but. I, I'm, I don't really, I play for differential, but I, I don't really get the differential. Last week, or maybe it was this league, um, I honestly forgot I've played so many matches, but this week was, I think, the first time where I won and it wasn't a 3-0. I usually, when I, not I usually win, when I usually win, or if I usually win, whatever. I usually win 3-0 or lower. Usually it's 3 0 though. And I think <laughs> last time was the first time of any week where I actually won 4 0. I don't remember the last time it happened. I thought that was just kind of interesting. Whatever. Slytherwing, gonna pick up a number 2 here. And Decidueye comes in. This is where I, you would have thought. Also, that was a very lucky crit. Um, you would have thought that if, out of every single calc, why would I calc here? purely differential because uh, Scrappy goes through Goldengo and while Goldengo can come in um, or while Goldengo might come in triple arrows it's Scrappy that's I think that's very obvious it's Scrappy goes through and it probably picks up another KO so that would mean a 2-0 and I don't really want that so I go for EQ here it triple arrows does 28, so I'm able to go for 1cc, and I barely live and I can get the other one off. I, I don't know if I had to go, I didn't have to, I really didn't have to go for 2ccs, but, or I didn't have to go for Earthquake CC CC. Um, this is a lot more defensive, or at least this is at least max HP, so I did not have to go for Earthquake CC CC, but I was under the assumption that it was not as bulky, and my calcs was, my calcs was, my calcs were 
Earthquake doing between 20 and 24, which I mean, it's a teenager, so I, I guess technically it did, but that's not the point. Uh, it doing 20 to 24, and then CC doing 70 something to 90 something. Um, so I thought played safe Earthquake CC, but very lucky crit there. I don't know if it mattered. I, I don't think it did because I just Earthquake CC CC or. Maybe because in my head I was probably like, whatever, but at this point I was like, oh wow, this is just OP, I thought, so. I, I don't think triple arrows ever really KOs me, so I don't think I was in too much danger. However, I'm still going to get a CC off, and that is three kills for Slytherwing. Like I said, Slytherwing just really just cleaned this game. It was really fun, and it's becoming one of my favorite mods of the generation for sure, even if it technically is kind of an old mod. I did not mean to make that joke that I just realized. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. I believe I'm now 2-0. and oh. Or one and one, I don't really remember. I think I'm two and zero, which is awesome. That's a really good start, and um, I can kind. Of, I I probably shouldn't, but I can play a bit more with mistakes. Like, for example, I could win two or three more games, and then I'm probably locked in. Um, but I do have the advantage of being two and zero, where I can afford to drop a game or two and then win out, or, or drop a game, or win a couple more, and then drop a game. Like, I'm developing that security blanket right now, which is really nice, so. That's gonna be it for me, I just wanted to cover this match because my roommate just went out, so. I have this match, and then I believe another match to cover, so. We'll do both of those. Thank you for watching. Um, again, if you like the video, you can like it, subscribe, don't, um, have a great day, peace out, see ya.